had this beautiful rosemary plant at one time, you're hiding in shame. It was, it was about this big, it was just perfect. And I had it ready for camera, and I come back, and this is what I found. <laughs> I trimmed it properly, though. You trimmed it all right. You just <laughs> trimmed it. And she made this bowl. I, so this is fresh, just to is, let you know. It is. It's not, you have to have fresh rosemary for this yeah, one. Yeah, well, it's better to have fresh rosemary. You can use dried, but oh, it just doesn't have the same fresh. flavor. Yeah, it was one of those things where you, where you start on it, and then you're like, oh, we should have done that on camera. But and, Yeah, and uh, so, uh, anyway. It was already too late, and I'm like, oh, well. We will save this for another day. Yes, yeah. I, I don't want to even, I'm going to save this for another day. <laughs> uh, you know, you can actually, since lavender is in the same family as rosemary, you can use lavender in this instead, oh, if, you, okay. if you wanted to. I don't know, that rosemary just worked. We've done I these know. before, yeah. so now we're actually doing it on camera. It was yeah. so good, I said, we got to get this yeah. on camera. Yeah. They're yummy. And uh, they're they're, yummy. it was that good. I keep eating so. them. Ingredients-wise, yep. we'll, we'll give you the recipe. We don't, we don't always do this, but... With this one, you're going to want it. Yeah. So we've got three gallons. Oh, no, three cups. <laughs> That's cups, right? Gallons wouldn't be too bad. Three cups of all-purpose flour. What are you using here today? This is, okay, so this is, this is I think it's Bob's Red Mill. It's gluten-free? One, one gluten-free so flour. So it's a gluten-free. Because then I can eat it. Right. Can I can eat it. And um, did you put the xanthan gum in there? I did. So the xanthan gum is right here. Okay, so yep. we do have the xanthan gum. Yep. Two tablespoons of baking powder. We've got a quarter cup of sugar. We've got natural crystals, of course. Yep. Uh, half a teaspoon of salt. Right there. Oh, pink Himalayan, right? A third cup of olive oil. A 14 ounce can of tomato sauce, which is about one and a half cups. Yep. You've got some fresh lemon juice, which you did fresh, right? And then uh, two tablespoons of the rosemary. Yes. And you got your oven on 400,000 degrees. So yeah. it should be done in like 3.1 seconds. Like that. Yeah. 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 Okay. All right. So. What is the process? So we're just going to put it all in the bowl. All you right. You need so a, like a yeah, rubber scraper? Yeah, probably a, something to stir it I'll with. give you a smaller one. Yeah, that'll work. All right. So we're going to put our flour in first. And I, like all these bowls, I don't do at home. No, like, no. Like I just, it, you know, at home. That's just for the look it's on the like cameras a one bowl and stuff. Thing. But so some recipes they make you put like all of your dry ingredients in one bowl and all of your wet ingredients in another bowl. <sighs> They're obviously not having to do their own dishes. Yeah. So once again, we're having an easy recipe easy. that you don't have a bunch of cleanup. That's right. Oh, it smells so good. Oh, that's fabulous. So that good. stuff is just. I love those. And things. by the way. We picked this up at the grocery store. Uh, it just comes in a little plastic, and it's got plastic up the sides. Mm -hmm. And it was like two dollars and ninety-five cents. Yeah, it's cheaper than buying the rosemary that's already cut. Yeah, yeah. So why, why get one? And and you can just keep watering it, and that's it'll right. keep growing, and you know, just pinch off. Yep. Usually, I cut from the top. Is that what you do too? Yep. Just pinch off I your usually, tops. You see how right here? I don't know if mm -hmm. you can see on the camera, but where it starts to get dark right there. Yeah. That's where you cut. Yeah. Because that's the new growth. Yeah, it'll, that's what it'll we do just too. Keep growing. Yep. Yep, yep. And uh, so saves you money and you that's get a right. much fresher product. And that's right. Yeah. All right, so I mixed all the dry ingredients. Now I'm going to add the wet ingredients into the little hole that I made. Okay. I see you got some olive oil here. Yeah. It's just a nice little squeegee thingy, spatula. Squeegee, spatula, whatever. I don't know what to call it. Thingy. This is uh, lemon juice. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. Look at that. That's why it's tomato rosemary. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so the only You can do like tomato basil. If you wanted to do oh, tomato yeah. basil scones, if you wanted to do tomato Alfredo scones, tomato parmesan. parmesan tomato yeah. parmesan would be good. There's this uh, Violife. Parmesan cheese that's a vegan in the grocery oh, is that stores. The kind that you shred it and yeah, it looks and like you a shred it. And, and if you did that, man, it would give it that tomato parmesan wow. That would um, be good. Do you have any of that? So, a couple of things you could do. Uh, I put that in there right now. Oh, I'm just. He's holding out. He's yeah, got I like am. ingredients it's, in his fridge. It's in the safe. 
It's, it's <laughs> yeah. the vault. The vault. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Yeah, we, we hide things when certain people come over. And <laughs> Like, oh, let's make this really fancy and see if we can use all your good ingredients. Stuff I don't buy. <laughs> all right. That's ready to. Oh, we have a pan. No, oh, no, yes, no, we no, have no, a pan. No, no. I was like, I know yes, we have I a have pan. Yes, I have it back here. He hid it from me. All right, so all right. you can either use one of these, which I love these because then you're not, or you can, you can put this in two little discs and actually do like scones where you cut them. Oh, okay. But. If you don't have time for that, you just use these and you just plop them on there. This looks like it'd be longer than just putting two big pieces out there. Yeah, I guess it would. But these look good. Do these rise a little bit? I think they do, bit. don't they? Just a little bit, yep. Yeah. Oh. And they look fancy and you don't have to push them down or nothing. You just plop them right on there. And then you don't have people saying, oh, yours is bigger than mine. Yeah, you don't want them perfect. You want them with imperfections on them. That's right. You gotta get all these on one? Yep. I could probably do five across if I need to. Dun 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 or somebody used to watch it, and I was just there. Oh yeah, see, we're gonna have to start moving them, Mark. Are they movable? Yep. Yeah, they're kind of sticky, actually. Yep, but they're movable. But that's not gonna help my OCD. Oh, I gotta get every last little bit. Mmm. There, so that should good. make it, right? It smells so good. Like even this stuff, you just want to like eat it. So 24. Look at that. Two dozen. Two dozen. The perfect number for a recipe. That's right. And I planned it I that way. Can I try spinning this or? I don't know. You can do it. No. <laughs> just don't make them dry. <laughs> what are we doing? Putting the, oh, 400 degrees, but how long? Uh, what does it say on the papers? <laughs> like 15 minutes, 12 minutes? Are you guessing? Yeah. <laughs> I think it's I think it's 15. She has so many recipes and that's why you write them down that's so you right. remember them when you come back to them. That's right. Um This only says 8 to 12 mount. Oh, 12 14 to 16 minutes. 14 to 16 minutes. So Yeah. We'll you check just, it and you just check them. Come yeah, right back. You, just check them. you cook them till they're done. Yeah. <laughs> but at 400 degrees. Done. Yeah, 400 degrees, you're going to yeah, definitely want to keep it, it, keep it around. It gives you the crispy outside and the nice moist yep. curly inside. Okay. Let's see if they're done. You can call them biscuit bites because they're so they're so tiny. Rose, rosemary biscuit Ooh, bites. Ooh. I know. Look at those. They look, and it's like... Are they done? Oh, yeah. They're like okay. crunchy on the outside and they're... Moist on the inside. Okay. Well, you got a plate there. You can plate them right up, yeah. except for this one. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Oh, it's hot. Yeah, it's hot. Don't. Oh, yeah. Look at that. <gasps> that turned out perfect. Yeah, it's like. Oh. I'm so happy that it's almost time to eat. Because then I can eat some. It's going to be so good. You can just smell the rosemary. I know, and tomatoes. I'm salivating right now because. I know what they taste like. Or oh, hot. Uh -huh. Well, yeah, it just came out of an oven. Uh -huh. My kids do that all the time. Like they'll, they'll like put something in their mouth and then also, uh -huh. like because mm -hmm. it's so hot. And I'm like, I told you, it just came out of the oven. Like fries, mm -hmm. you know, the fries come right out of the oven, oven fries. And then, uh, yeah, they just, I don't know, that's so good. Beautiful. <laughs> I had them all. They were all numbered, like just right. She's got this OCD that I like to mess with. <laughs> wow. That is actually mouth-watering. I know. It makes you just want to eat them all, right? And these are gluten-free. These are gluten-free. Yeah, and you can... I have done it where I've used oat flour before. 
they're a little, they're, they're a little, the texture's a little different, but it still works. So mm -hmm. if you can't go out and get gluten-free oat flour, or gluten-free flour, you can use oat flour. I can't remember if, if you can freeze them. Yes. Because we, we never. You can, because there's they're, They'll times, be gone before you freeze them. There's been, no, well, there's been times where I make a double batch. Okay. And sometimes yeah. I'll make meals ahead and then I'll throw them in the freezer and then when I don't feel like yeah. cooking, I'm like, oh, what do we have? Oh, we have yeah. leftover loaf and we have leftover yeah. greens. Refrigerator. Leftover. So do you reheat them in a in the microwave or do you just? Yep, I just nuke them. I'm wondering but if. But you uh, can put them in the oven. So I'm wondering if, uh, yeah, the air fryer for like oh. one or one or two minutes and be done. I don't have an air fryer. I'm gonna try that. You should. Yeah. Yeah, it probably works. Absolutely delicious, and and I like the fact that this recipe can really be altered. Oh yeah. Uh, with the basil or with the Different parmesan herbs. or with the yeah. So. Um, imagine lavender. Mm. The lavender would probably taste really good. Because mm -mm -mm. most people just do the lavender with the, the flowers, but you can use the, the leaves. Mm -hmm. And it still has a more savory taste than the. Amazing. Yeah. There you go. A genius recipe from a genius chef Yum. coming over to a genius facility to give you a genius. Uh, something to eat. Enough said. <laughs> yeah. Something to eat. All right. We'll be back helping you get healthy one bite at a time. Mm. It's really good. That's really good. I'm going to take a minute.